what's happening everybody I just got out of the shower about 12 minutes ago I needed it after a good day of hard work at the place I'm at right now we've been doing a lot of stocking a lot of dairy work a lot of display work just as well they got us busy going to almost 24 7 up there so by the time I get home I'm usually tired I want to relax and all that good stuff there and as you can see I've yet to put on my PJs just as well and after I get done with this vlog here I'm going to most definitely head to bed because I have to start again at uh, 7 a.m. in the morning they got me working mornings now now first thing I want to address before I get to the main subject here is that um as you probably noticed there was no music memories episode of Arknoia and the doctor uh, I got a message on Skype from Arky and he said um, some buddies some relatives are coming over his place obviously since Thanksgiving is this coming Thursday so I said okay let me know when you're done and sadly I never got any um, notice when he was done so I figured there would be no Arknoia and the doctor t tonight now my nephew tomorrow after I get done from work him and his girlfriend are coming to pick me up my sister and my brother-in-law he's going to take us over to their place which is far away to spend Thanksgiving Eve and Thanksgiving Day over there possibly playing some games you know watching uh, what's on the tube there and of course Thanksgiving dinner as always And I'm doubting that there's going to be any Arknoia and the Doctor episode on that night, you know. Because Thanksgiving, like Christmas, is considered family night, you know. Now, we, of course, we'll definitely make it up on the Friday there. I'm thinking possibly when we get done from work, you know, we could probably make up for our episode of Music Memories and our uh, TV Memories just as well possibly get those two bits recorded we'll have to wait and see you know see how it goes there so um anybody waiting for the next episode you know definitely we'll do it on friday there for shizzle now on to the subject here that i found out not too long ago seems that there was this giant metal slab in the middle of the Utah desert and of course the state of Utah this is from the guardian.com and it seems that a huge metal monolith was found in the desert in the state of Utah the object was spotted last week by a helicopter pilot and wildlife officers were flying above the rugged area to conduct an annual account or excuse me count a big horn sheep for the state and when it was announced in the press there it automatically drew massive amounts of comparisons to the monolith featured in the movie 2001 a space odyssey as well as inviting suggestions it could be a, the work of extraterrestrials now the only difference is now we don't know the, the kind of material of the monolith that was used in the movie in the storyline but this one was made of metal don't know if it's a solid block or hollow or whichever who knows now the helicopter pilot whose name is Brett Hutchins had the opportunity to, to see the big metal slab up close and guessed it it was probably the work of an artist between now get this the monolith itself is between uh, 10 feet and 12 feet high 3 meters 
He said, quote, I'm assuming that some sort of new wave artist or something or, you know, somebody who was a big 2001 A Space Odyssey fan. The work was compared to those of many um, sculptors, including artist John McCracken, who sadly died in 2011. A spokesperson for the uh, artist, David Zwirmer, Z-R-I-R-N-E-R, as I don't pronounce, told The Guardian that the mystery object was not one or any of McCracken's works. And they said that they suspect it's probably the work of a fellow artist possibly paying homage to McCracken. Mm. Now, the spokesperson told the New York Times not too long ago in a later statement that it could be a McCracken sculpture. Now, who would ever have known that in the year 2020, had yet we have another surprise for us. And just when we had seen it all, boom, we see this. Now one thing that is known that is without authorization. According to Utah law, it is illegal to install structures or art on federally federal managed public lands according to the Utah Department of the Public Safety. This is true, no matter what planet you're from. The agency says it does not plan to reveal the exact location of this object, but said, quote unquote, it is in a very remote area, and if individuals were uh, to attempt to visit the area, there is a possibility they become stranded and may require some rescue. You know, because this is a big-ass desert we're talking about here. But that did not stop users of Reddit from identifying its most likely whereabouts, as well as discussing theories about the ways this object could have gotten here and why. In zoomed-in photos of the structure, Reddit users noted that there were lines by its base which suggested a rock saw had been used to put it in the ground and that it appeared to be held together with screws, dispelling the theory that it could be just one large hunk of metal. The structure also caused controversy in the geographic world, which took issue with Utah's government using the word monolith to describe the object. Now, a monolith, as we know, is a geographic feature made of stone. While this slab appears to be made of metal, Merriman's Webster's Dictionary, however, allows for a looser imperspective of monolith as a massive structure, and it is the word to describe the structure director, Stanley Kubrick, made famous in the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. Now, I think right now, at this point, if things uh, couldn't get more bizarre in this year, I think this may take the cake. And it's so, when you really think about that, when you really think about all this, I think we're approaching 2001 a Space Odyssey timeline right now. I mean, in addition with a monolith, we have Alexa, which when you, when you really think about it, is actually HAL 9000, but with a female voice and name. And um, we have these uh, tablets, which I'm reading from right now, which in the movie was originally used, believe it or not, it shows up at the scene where the uh, two astronauts are having dinner and watching um, a televised interview from a British journalist speaking to HAL 9000 and the astronauts. And also keep this in mind, 
in the movie, people were able to talk to loved ones, family, friends, through a satellite. And right now we're doing that these days with Skype, Zoom, StreamYards, and everything else, including Facebook. You could talk on video through Facebook with a friends and family just as well on there. Now, in addition to that, I think we're now going to possibly see a lot of messages saying this is your world, take care of it, you know, don't do no wrong to it just as well. And that was mentioned in the movie sequel, 2010, The Year We Make Contact, which came out in 1984. So, um, I'm going to end this vlog here with a little uh, simple statement here. Yeah, it is a bizarre here. But you know what? News like this beats all these, you know, um, protesting news of protesters damaging um, public buildings, statues being torn down, police, you know, brutally um, beating on people for no reason because they got issues of their own that they can't air out to a counselor. News like this is a lot more interesting and a lot more relaxed to um, to watch and hear about. And that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to shut this off and get this thing um, charged up because it's this is running low on batteries. It's been a while since I used it. That's all for tonight. I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. If there's not a uh, Ark Noia and the Doctor TV Memories episode tomorrow night, well, you have the reason why ahead of time. And if I don't make another vlog tonight, or uh, later on tomorrow night, I should say, I'll say it right here. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, stay safe on Black Friday. All right, this is Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments below and hit that like button just as well. And um, Arknoia, I'll message you tomorrow on, on my opposition here for Friday when we get back, okay? You have a good one there, everybody.